Hi, I'm Debbie, and thank you for spending some time with me. In 1967, the Rascals had a song with the opening lyrics of How Can I Be Sure? In a world that's constantly changing, how can I be sure where I stand with you? This, of course, reflected the social, political, and cultural changes of the 1960s. However, this song also reflects the world in which we find ourselves today. Language has changed, economics have changed, social order and responsibilities have changed, even the ability of others to cancel someone have changed. At times, it may feel that we are living in a whirlwind in which, we, in which what we previously experienced and understood have all changed around us. So where do we find stability? Where do we find the familiar? Where do we find our foundations? Well, one of God's attributes is that he is immutable, which means he is unchanging. God is constant. Our societal values and expectations may change, but he doesn't. Our relationships with others may change or even end but our relationship with God is constant. God has been, is, and will be unchanged. He is the same as he ever was and ever will be. Numbers 23.19 states, God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should change his mind. And we are told in 1 Samuel 15.29, he who is the glory of Israel does not lie or change his mind, for he is not a man that he should change his mind. Yet people want him to change. Many want God's values to be the same as ours. Many want God to accept or reject what we accept or reject. Yet he doesn't. He doesn't change. In Malachi 3 6, God states, I, the Lord, do not change. How is that encouraging? It is encouraging to me in that I know what I know about God is true and will continue to be true. Christ's crucifixion, death, and resurrection remain true. And my salvation through belief in my Lord and Savior is true. It won't change as God and his love and grace don't change. Many think that the God of the Old Testament is different from the God of the New Testament. He isn't. He still hates sin. He still requires sacrifice to atone for sin. However, in the New Testament, we find that God himself provided the sacrifice to atone for our sins through his son, Jesus Christ. The Emmanuel that was promised. Yes, the world around us is changing. Even our own nation and its interpretation of our constitution and governmental processes and priorities are changing. Yet we still have constants, and those constants include God and his creation. As spring approaches, and once again we have budding trees, flowering bushes, new life being born, and all of the other signs of the renewal of life and nature, we also know that we can find peace and stability as God is constant. He is with us, and he is unchanging. And as 1 Timothy 1.17 declares, Now to the king... Eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for spending some time with me, and I hope your week and this season of spring will be much joy and many blessings. Thank you.